All right, uh, this is the time you've all been waiting for. Mopars. Uh, we got two uh, big boats here. Uh, we got a 67, we believe. Don't get, it, don't uh, bug us if we're wrong. Uh, Monaco, and we got a 68 Monaco, we believe. Uh, six, we'll start with the 60. Uh, oh, we'll start with the 60, 67. We believe it's 67. It's a four door. I'll show you some cool things on it, though. It's got uh, the old 318 uh, wide block or poly, I mean, and it is unseized. So next uh, year, this will probably be uh, one of the cars we're going to try and uh, see if we can get running. Uh, everything looks original, it's just missing the rad, but those go missing all the time around here. Well, it's got some funky features. Uh, this one's, you see, there's no antenna hole. It's a radio delete car. Being a four-door, who knows, low-option car. But someone's did some... Uh, work on it we don't have keys for it so we can't get inside plus you can also notice someone's shaved the uh, door handles off the back and the front they've uh, shaved the hood the uh, dodge off the front of the hood the marker lights have been shaved Well, it's got a vinyl roof, garbage though, but yeah, it's uh, got some issues. It's got some nice, I don't think those are factory for that year, but they could be. But they look like an early 70s uh, Mopar uh, rim. But it's got the big, big long tail lights. Missing a bumper. Yeah, there's supposed to be little round marker lights, if you can see on that one. They've been all shaved in here, so it's funky that someone's uh, shaved <laughs> the front and rear door handles off a four door, but someone's making it into a cool uh, four door hot rod. Oh. As much as you can, can with a big boat, but the interior looks pretty good, being that it's been uh, locked up. But as you can see, there is no radio. Well, it's hard to see, but there's no radio. Column shift. The rear seat looks basically brand new. Like this thing's been sealed up. There's no dirt, dust. The front seat's ripped, but no. No little critters have gotten into this one and eaten away the seats like all the other cars around here. So that's a good thing. So in the springtime, we might see if we can uh, get this thing to fire up if we if we can get inside. We'll search around, see if we can find keys for it. But I think, yeah, even on the front here, there's supposed to be a marker, turn signal marker light that's been uh, shaved. Dual headlights, the grill is broken. And this side, we believe it's a 38 uh, or a 68. Slightly different grill. And I'll show you the taillights. The taillights are slightly different also. This one, just the 318. Oh, and by the way, this one's a convertible. And I checked earlier, and I don't know if I can get it to, but it was unseized. There we go. It's rocking. So, that one might be, oh, that's a issue. That used to be the thermostat housing. Now a lump of uh, corrosion, but 
Yeah, we believe it's just a 318 car, but it's on seas, so it might be one of the things that we might uh, try and get running alongside the, uh, the 67. So we'll see about that next uh, in the springtime or next summer. But, uh, this one's in pretty good shape. The, the usual rust. The rear, the front fenders are quite nice. Got the factory, factory hubcaps still. The doors, uh, just yeah, right where these uh, molding. That's where all these molding clips for this chrome. They rotted out the door. So the door. I'm pretty sure the bottom half is rotten. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's a convertible top's all rotten out of it. Rear quarter is rotten, gone. That's a shame. The tail lights are slightly different than the uh, than the '67. Uh, it's possible that maybe that bumper will fit on the 68 or 67. But, show you the inside. The inside's pretty nice. You can see it's got a uh, floor, con floor console. We believe that's the same uh, console you can get in. Uh, Char 68 chargers it's got a huge dash decent shape the floors are well, the rear floors are definitely gone and the seats are uh, gone but when we believe the seats are the same as a charger 2 we could be wrong as well but if someone wanted to fix these things they can be uh, recovered get new sponge for them See if this works. And it's a yeah, it's a Monaco 500 convertible. I believe that's a cigarette lighter. Nothing in the glove box, or except for. A turtle wax cover. Well, for a convertible, it's not too bad. I don't know if you can buy quarters for these things. Factory hubcap on the back too. Yeah, we need new quarters, door work, all new interior, but it's uh a possible fixer. I'm not sure what this is. Or even if it belongs to that car, this car. It's attached to it. But I don't know what it is. It has no switches. Temperature sensor it looks like. And some uh, weird ass wiring. What? Yeah, it's a. Uh, it could be fixed. Uh, glass is glass is decent. I think it might have a crack on that side. Or that's a scratch. Oh, glass is good. Glass is good on both cars actually. You can't get on that side because uh, it's tucked up against the tree and another car. But I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's still got the same hubcap, so I'm pretty sure we got them all four corners. I'm pretty sure the quarters are the same and the doors are the same on that. But yeah, next year we'll uh, take a closer look at these, see if we can get them running. Uh, not really a conver convertible fan, but this one's in decent shape. And the four door is not bad either. Decent, nice interior. I'm not. I, I like these uh, big boats, especially Dodges. They're pretty cool. We haven't shown you many uh, Mopar, or I don't think any Mopar stuff. So these, this will be the maybe the first 
first Mopar stuff on our channel. Uh, besides the dart. We haven't shown the Actually, we haven't shown the dart. A little bit. Yeah, we've shown it in the background. But next year, we might do a little thing on the video on the 69 dart GT. But yeah, they're decent. They're, they could be fixed. If you found, found some court, quarters, they could be, that could be, or make them. And the doors, you can fix that. You can hide, hide shit underneath the, uh, the, the moldings. So if you had to weld anything under there, you could hide it easily. So that's not bad. But otherwise, there's no, no dense dings or anything like that. But it's still a little rough, but doable. Well, hope you like this one, and uh, well, we'll see if we can dig up some other Mopars later on. Have a good day, and we'll see you uh, in the springtime.